Hello, my beautiful Aries. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerson.com, here to bring you your weekly forecast for April 15th to the 21st. Guys, don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And of course, if you like a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. All right, let's jump right in. What's going on in my Aries romantic love life for April 15th to the 21st? What's going on in my Aries romantic love life for April 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, great. So let's take a look at your oracle here. What's going on my Aries romantic love life for April 15th to the 21st? What's going on my Aries romantic love life for April 15th to the 21st? What's going on my Aries romantic love life for April 15th to the 21st? And let's take a look at your love interest. Let's go my Aries love interest to their romantic love life for April 15th to the 21st. Show me the cards I need to, oops, <laughs> show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. Let's throw these cards down and let's jump right in. All right. Okay. All right. So it looks to me like on the 15th, Spirit just wants you to have a beautiful day with the Paradise card. Okay, it does look like you're going to have a victory on this day because or you're going to feel victorious because of the fact you're going to get this recognized victory. It could come in a form of a message, a text message, because I see a letter or an official document here with the Six of Wands energy. Remember, Six of Wands is a recognized victory. So when we have an argument or a fight, somebody wants to be right. So there's a recognized victory here for you on the 15th. Your love and just the person you're dealing with feels like they want to take a leap of faith. They want to take a risk here with the full card energy on this day. So they're feeling like, you know, uh, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to take a leap of faith. I'm going to take a risk here. On the 16th, something to do with reunions is going to affect your romantic love life. Hmm. It does look like you're in the energy of hmm, a suspicion. Somebody feels to you like they're lying or deceptive in some way with the Seven of Swords energy where you're trying to analyze and get to the bottom of where is the snake in the grass here with the Seven of Swords energy. Your love and just the person you're dealing with has the Wheel of Fortune energy. So they're uh, feeling like, okay, everything is turned in my favor. Everything's going right here. Luck is on my side with the Wheel of Fortune energy. On the 17th, Spirit is saying to you some changes need to happen. Some transformational changes are going to happen or some kind of transformations are going to affect your romantic love life. Um, you're having the moon energy on this day. So you have the energy of, you know what? I don't know. Everything's not revealed to me. I feel like there's still some hidden things here with the moon card energy. Or you're feeling like there's some kind of hidden peril here. Remember when the sun card comes out, you can see everything. When you, see, when you have the moon card coming out, it's like... You can see stuff, but you can't see it clearly. So something's yet to be revealed there. Your love and just the person you're dealing with has a Knight of Swords energy on the 17th. They're having a lot of worry and anxiety and sleepless nights here on this day. On the 18th, Spirit wants you to watch out for signs or symbols here with this, this card. So pay attention to your dreams, any kind of messages that resonates, pay attention to that. It does look like you're in the energy of the temperance here. So it looks like you're being patient. Um, you're wanting an equal give and take in your situation here with the temperance card energy on the 18th. Your love and to the person you're dealing with, they're like weighing their choices and options with the two of pentacles energy. They're trying to make some type of heavy choice here. On the 19th, family could be affecting your romantic love life in some way here. It does look like you have the three of pentacles, which represents working towards uh, uh, a stable situation. Um, Three of Pentacles can also talk about um, having more more than one a choice option. And also we have the bear in this card. So for me, the bear is like, all right, it's like almost like strength and a nurturing kind of energy because the bear can represent uh, a mother energy, a father energy, a boss energy. So it's like you're, you're definitely having, you're, you're in your strength on this day. Your love interest, the person you're dealing with, has the Ten of Pentacles energy. So they're also dealing with issues around family and long-term commitment here in Ten of Pentacles. On the 20th, work could be affecting a romantic love life here. 
It does look like you are dealing with some kind of arguments or disputes on this day with the Five of Wands energy or some kind of competition here. Your love interest is the person you're dealing with on the 20th. It's a bit focused on self or even focused on finances here with the Nine of Pentacles energy. On the 21st, you have the Prosperity card. So that's interesting. That's good. And it does look like you're going to speak your truth or you're in your truth on this day. So it looks like you're going to speak some things that are politically correct. Um, also, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with the Queen of Swords energy. Your love and just the person you're dealing with could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They're trying to also be logical and use their head over their heart to make decisions here with the King of Swords energy. All right. So let's take a look at your numerology. And then we will look at your overall. So let me grab these decks over here. So it does look like you're dealing with, um, for this week, a lot of healing, recovery, a lot of thinking, contemplating about that how you can move forward with building things. And five, you're dealing with changes or challenges around your situation when it comes to this. Okay. So now let's take a look at what's going on overall here. All right, what's happening with my Aries, romantic love life for April 15th to the 21st? What's going on with Aries, romantic love life? What's going on my Aries Romantic Love Life for April 15th to the 21st? What's going on my Aries Romantic Love Life for April 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. What's going on my Aries Romantic Love Life for April 15th to the 21st? Aries Romantic Love Life for April 15th to the 21st? Aries Romantic Love Life for April 15th to the 21st. All right. What's going on my Aries Romantic Love Life for April 15th to the 21st? Aries Romantic Love Life for April 15th to the 21st. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. Wow, okay. So in the current situation, we have the Twin Flame Soulmate card. And it does look like um, you are working on your happiness here with the Sun card energy. And his house and family and stability here. Wow. So in the current situation, you're making a choice with your heart pertaining to your happiness. And it's coming together for you with house and family. Mm. So four is about stability and stableness. What's your blockage here? Waiting around seven of pentacles energy to work towards something or build something or having more than one choice or option. Uh, for some of you, definitely it could be a money issue here because of the money. Uh, this fish card for me represents uh, money and finance. For some of you, it's you're trying to figure out, okay, I'm going to be patient. I'm going to see how things are going to play out. Who do I want to work towards or build something here or have more than one choice or option? Who does really, really invokes my emotions within me? with the uh, fish card energy, because it, it can represent a flow of emotions. So there's a lot of thinking and contemplating about this. Okay, so at the foundation here, we got the soulmate connection or choice towards love. And it does look like you're using your intuition here with the high priestess card, because of a particular person, you are focused on a particular person or a person is focused on you and sees you as a soulmate connection. And it does look like there's some type of choice being made here. All right, what happened in the past? Six of Wands, so recognize victory because of the fact that someone had walked away physically or mentally, or there's a person that wanted to be win the argument or win the fight here with the Six of Wands energy because someone who'd walked away. And the issue was around loyalty or something around friendship here with the dog card energy. Six is healing recovery. Eight is putting the work or effort into it. Nine is about wishes fulfilled. All right, so what's going on at the head of the matter? We have the temperance card energy. So there's a patient energy here for an equal give and take. There could be a little bit of arguments and disputes happening or competition going on here with the five of wands energy. And it is about your happiness here because the sun card again is coming out. So we see that there are some changes or challenges around stability and stableness that there's a patient energy about wanting an equal give and take here about it. So it's gonna happen in the near future for you guys. So we have the Empress card. Sh shows me that actually love and abundance. Oh my goodness. The Tower card's coming out. <laughs> All right, well, what do I always say about the Tower card? 
It's about sudden changes and sudden events, okay? So, car breaking down. Sudden change, sudden event, tower card energy. Uh, winning the lottery, sudden change, sudden event. Okay, so it does look like in the near future there's going to be some big changes happening. Sudden changes, unexpected changes happening with that tower card energy there. Which will cause some type of healing in your situation because I see the tree card. So it's, it's not in a negative sense, it's more in a positive sense for you guys. Okay, so it's going to be unexpe unexpected blessings here. With this Empress being here, it's a love, it's abundance. These big changes are going to cause healing and recovery in your situation. Very good. Very good, Aries. Unexpected blessings there. There's going to be some changes because it's also a five card energy. Let me just grab a sip of tea here. Okay, subconsciously, you're feeling stuck and stagnant with the hangman energy. And you're feeling like things are going kind of slow here. Or maybe you're trying to slow things down with the Knight of Pentacles energy. The reason why is because of confusion here with the clouds card energy. So six is their healing and recovery in love and the Knights represents movement or action. So what is going to happen? Uh, what's influencing you? The influence actually is the eight of swords energy. It's the, um, it's the card of, oh my God, my hands are tied and there's nothing I can do about it. This, remember, is the influence. So this could be a person that you're dealing with. And the person feels that their hands are tied because of communication or because they want things to move fast. All right, eight of wands. And there is a, a lot of patience or a long time that's around this energy or something to do with uh, wise decisions because the lilies can also be wisdom. Um, so eight is about putting the work or effort into it and three is about building, working towards something or having more than one choice or option. So what is going on with your hopes and fears? So it looks like you want to make some type of choice pertaining to commitments or marriage or um, traditional values or something spiritual. Yep, we got the ring card. Marriage, engagement, or commitment there. And two is a choice and that you're thinking and contemplating about. All right, so what's going to happen? What is going to happen with this, uh, this outcome here? All right, so the potential outcome is the moon card energy. So there's some kind of confusion. There's still something that's confusing about the situation with the moon card energy. And the king of wands represents, it looks like you are taking a leadership role here in the situation and you're trying to make wise choices when it comes to your passions. Oh, wow. And the judgment card shows me a reconciliation and a healing, as I said. With this tower card energy coming in here, even though there's still some confusing things, there's still some things that yet to be revealed. The judgment card shows me that you're going to have a healing. You're going to have a reconciliation. Yes, there are still going to be things that are going to reveal themselves, but or there's some confusion still around this. And I'm going to clarify that. What is that moon card about? Because of the fact that um, there's confusion or something, someone feels like there's hidden perils around taking action towards passion. And the moon card again shows me that someone's trying to use their intuition or something to do with romance there. So, but with the end card being the judgment card, I do feel like there's going to be a reconciliation. There's going to be healing. And for some of you, this could be something to do with your past energy as well. For others of you, it's just going to be the fact that you're going to be like, wow, you know what? I feel like I'm renewed. I feel like the situation's going well. And with the King of Wands being there, it does so show like wisdom when it comes to passions there and judgment. So let's just see. Yep. King of Pentacles. Why choice when it comes to long-term commitments? Something about ending or stopping there. And let's see. So the judgment's there because of the fact there's renewal and healing from worry and anxiety. So you're dealing with that issue pertaining to arguments and disputes. Or something. So arguments end or something repetitive ends and... The moon says it's recognized. There's an action towards passion because someone makes a wise choice when it comes to long-term commitments. And why does that happen? Because there was worry and anxiety. Some confusion or something that was clouded about the situation, but there is a natural born leader. Someone takes a wise choice when it comes to passions. And judgment shows me a healing and a reconciliation in your situation. So great, great, great week coming up. All right, Unexpe unexpected blessings for you. So let me get some advice for you guys. Can I have some advice for my Leo's Romantic Love Life for April 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. 
All right, so Spirit is saying don't feel codependent. Don't feel procrastinate on this situation, all right? You have to reveal your feelings, your innermost selves here. And you can let your friends help you with your situation. Okay, so don't feel depressed. Don't procrastinate about your situation. Reveal your innermost selves with each other so your bond will deepen. And let your friends help you with the situation. Let people help you and support you with your decision here, with your situation here. All right, my Aries, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. I will be releasing mid-monthlies, which will, for some of you who are interested, will have finance and health. So I love you guys so much. I'll be seeing you soon.